Greetings, my friend. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Matt Schifferly with another video to help you be fit and live free. And being fit, living free means basically having the freedom and the independence to live your best life while also pursuing your fitness to a whole nother level. And one of the ways that we do that here at RDP is to recognize the fundamental nature of fitness and how it actually works. Because a lot of the advices and stuff in our fitness culture are pretty good, but they're kind of based on generalities, assumptions, and most importantly, correlations. Which means that most of this stuff is pretty good, but it's still kind of hit and miss because it doesn't apply equally to everyone. But at the same time, because there's this correlation factor, we're kind of getting in the general ballpark of what we need to do but we're not going specifically after the actual thing you need to get the results you want. It's kind of like trying to hit a target with a bunch of arrows and you're wearing special glasses that make it really warped and distorted and fuzzy. You can kind of get the arrows going in the general direction, but it doesn't matter how good you are if you can't get a clear, definite view of what you're trying to hit. And one of the most common areas this is in is when it comes to strength training, knowing exactly what to prioritize when it comes to what is creating the stimulus for building particularly strength, but also bigger muscle. See, in the conventional world, uh, weight is associated with how hard your muscles are working. And so if I lift a heavier weight, then obviously that means I'm getting stronger. And that is certainly true most of the time. However, weight is not necessarily resistance. And resistance is not necessarily the actual muscle tension that's, well, getting infused in your muscle from your nervous system. These three things are extremely heavily correlated to each other. So if I do an exercise and I lift a heavier weight, then yes, the weight is heavier, therefore the resistance is probably more, which means there's probably more tension in the muscle. But it's not always exactly one for one for one. For example, this is a 15 pound weight, and if I wanted to work my shoulder raises here, you know, with this weight, it's like, okay, there's a given level of resistance and tension in my muscle. But if I change the resistance through the technique by changing up the leverage by shortening my arm, okay, now this is a heck of a lot easier, and it's still the same weight, but because the resistance got drastically reduced, there's not nearly as much tension in my muscle, which is drastically reducing the effectiveness of the exercise to make my muscle stronger. Furthermore, the amount of tension in the muscle can be influenced by a number of other factors, such as like body position, using things like momentum, or even just the coveted mind-muscle connection of how well my brain can actually get the darn muscle to turn on in the first place. When I started doing this exercise, I used to have a lot of upper trap stuff. So I think, okay, I'm lifting the same weight, using the same relative leverage, therefore my muscle should be getting stronger, lifted too much weight, had even more compensation, and I strained my shoulder pretty bad. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that weight doesn't matter. I'm not saying resistance doesn't matter. I'm saying that when your objective is I wanna make a muscle bigger and stronger, you wanna emotionally and mentally prioritize the tension in the muscle, which flips the script on what, well, at least I used to do for many years, where I thought I need more weight, therefore resistance is higher, therefore tension is higher. But the more I pursued the weight, the more I would sometimes compensate with shorter ranges of motion and even subconsciously using like momentum and different aspects of things like uh, uh, leverage changes in my uh, body position and stuff. So resistance would go down. So I assumed it was one for one for one because my weights were going up, but because of the compensation, not only was it increasing my risk of injury, it gave me a false sense of actually making more progress than I really was but recognizing that your ability to make your muscle stronger and hopefully you know, bigger if you want hypertrophy and stuff is much more about the actual tension in the muscle. The tension that your nervous system infuses in the muscle is the thing that creates the fundamental stimulus for the adaptation in the muscle that you want. It's the tension, which means the resistance and the weight is still important but it's a secondary thing. 
And this is especially important to recognize in the world of calisthenics, because a lot of times we will say, well, your weight is the same, so therefore it doesn't matter. If it's those same weights, then you can't get stronger. But of course, you can use different levels of technique and leverage. In some cases, it's easier to use leverage to drastically increase or adjust on the fly the resistance, and therefore hopefully correlated to increased tension. But again, lots of things can influence tension, including your ability to engage the muscle in the first place. Because if your brain has trouble talking to your biceps when they're elongated or your lats and stuff, you're not gonna generate much tension in that muscle no matter what you do, no matter how much you lift, no matter how many reps you do, no matter what your technique looks like. So prioritize tension, then use the resistance and the weight or whatever external thing you're using like bands as necessary in the pursuit of that tension. And not only is that gonna be a lot more safer and satisfying, but it's also gonna make your workouts a heck of a lot more effective because you're pursuing the thing that actually creates the stimulus for change you're going after. Amazing things happen when you prioritize the things that are most important when it comes to getting in shape. If you wanna learn more, check out reddeltaproject.com. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, be fit and live free.